Good evening, YouTube. How are you guys? I haven't been on here in a while, and I'm excited to join everyone. It's the night before St. Patrick's Day, and I'm wondering what everybody has planned. And I'm not sure if you are Irish. I'm part Irish. I mean, my first name is Megan. My middle name is McKenna. Quite clearly, I'm part Irish. Um, but I'm also a lot of other things. I'm a bit of a mutt. But I would love to hear what, you know, what you guys are. Um, I'm, a, you know, I feel like I'm mostly Italian. I was raised very Italian. So I'm that typical chick that likes to cook and all those good things. So I really love to hear what everybody else uh, does for St. Patrick's Day, how they feel about it, things like that. But tonight's video is going to be really simple. It's going to be about charging an amulet. Ooh. Okay, we think this is so super witchy, but it's really basic. It's so basic. So, an amulet can be anything from a stone that you can in your pocket to a piece of jewelry that you wear. For me, I like it to be a piece of jewelry. Okay, so what I'm going to be doing to charge this off camera is going to be quite a bit more than what you're seeing here. But I'm going to give you the basics so that way you're, you're still going to be able to change your, your charge your amulet the way you need to. You need your four elements. You need earth, okay, I have a bowl of dirt here, okay, and that goes in the north corner. In the east, you want your incense, which I have going. I have jasmine going right now. In the south, you have your fire, and in the west, you have your water, okay? Now, um, you want to kind of decide each, you know, um, amulet, what you want it to represent. For me, I saw this amulet at the store, and it just automatically spoke to me. I just, I, I can't describe it. It just spoke to me. And I'm trying really hard to work on self-love and courage. So that's why right now I have jasmine incense, which is really good for self-love. And I have an orange candle going, which is really good for courage. And I even inscribed my candle with the word courage over and over and over again. Okay? And I did make a little chant for you guys to make it easier. Um, you can tweak it to your liking. That's perfectly fine. Uh, I just wanted to try to make this as simple as possible for everybody, okay? For the beginner to the more advanced witch, okay? I'm not trying to scroll that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so what's everybody planning for St. Patrick's Day? I would love to hear. It make me happy. I'm not doing anything. I'm walking some dogs. But... Hey, that's fun too. I get to watch a bunch of pit bulls. That's kind of a good day in my eyes. Okay, so. In the north, I have my dirt. Okay, my north element. Now here is my chant. And like I said, you can tweak it any way you would like. I call upon earth, air, fire, and water to imbue this amulet with great power. Gods and goddesses give the wearer courage and self-love. But, you know, go on. Courage and self-love with what you need. I ask of these gifts from up above. These powers are now bestowed unto me, as is my will, so shall it be. Okay, now, so what we're going to do, we're going to start in the north. We're going to put our amulet in the dirt quickly. And think about all the things we want to do that give us courage. <clears throat> all the things we would do if we had more self-love. Okay, and we take it out. And we run it through the smoke. I'll show you here. Run it through the smoke of the incense. And do the same thing. And because I'm using jasmine incense, which is really good for self-love, I'm just trying to envelop myself with, you know, loving light. 
Now, my candle, my orange candle, because that's good for courage, which I inscribed with courage. Okay, I'm not going to put it right in the flame because this is not the kind of jewelry you want to put right in a flame. I wouldn't suggest that with any jewelry. I'm just running it over the candle flame and thinking about the fire that's within me that I can bring out in a courageous way. Right? Let me spin that around. And then dip in the water and think about ourselves being cleansed and being able to start anew with the self-love and courage. And you can place this on your altar anywhere you would like. I really enjoy using um, selenite. This selenite wand came from a dear, dear friend of mine. Girl, you know who you are. You know. <laughs> um, I really like putting it on that. This is a self-cleansing crystal. I could wrap it around there if I want. But what I plan on doing is chanting some more if I turn off the camera, okay? I just wanted to give you guys a basic idea of what an amulet is. It can, okay, it can be a ring, it can be a necklace, it can be a bracelet, it can be a hairpin, it can be a clip, it can be a keychain, it can be anything. Anything that you are drawn to, all right? And that you end up purchasing or finding, whatever and that you imbue with the right pieces of power. Now, let's say you wanted to imbue something with um, money drawing properties. You would want to use a green candle and you would want to use an incense that brings in money and prosperity, right? Um, luck, same thing. Luck I usually associate with yellow candles. Incense, that's a tricky one. I would follow your gut on that. Um, but they do have, like, actual luck incense. Um, love. You know, I mean, like I said, this was a double whammy. I was trying to do self-love and courage. So love. Roses. Go to. Instinct go to for love. Whether it's self-love or love from others. Okay? Um, and pink is the color of love. Red is the color of lust. Communication with your partner. Light blue. Power. Purple. I mean, there are just, it's an endless array of things that you could do. All right, guys, so I wanted to make this super quick. Wow, under 10 minutes. That's a record for me, guys. Ooh, ooh. Okay, guys, so I hope you have a wonderful St. Patrick's Day. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. And as always, blessed be.